problem solving by reversing operations. This is a very important technique and we will try to develop it with the help of few simple examples. Let us say that we know that twice a number number is let us say 8. In that case what is the number? Now to find the number what we can do is we can do reverse of the operation. It says twice a number is 8. So 2 times a number is 8. What is the number? It should be half of 8. Okay? That's the reverse operation. So what is the number? We do half of 8 and get our number and we say well the number in our case is 4. So twice means times 2 and so this is times 2. To get 8 to get the original number we did divided by 2 and say well if you start at 4 then twice 4 is 8. So that is a kind of operation which we are looking into. right? Let us say you have some change in your pocket and you buy a cup of coffee. Let's say you buy a cup of coffee for let's take simple numbers two dollars and some snacks for let us say five dollars and you're left with a change of let us say seven dollars now the question is, what amount was in your pocket? So you need to find the amount originally with you. Now you know, you spent some money. You have spent $2 on coffee, $5 on snacks, and you're left with a change of $7. That means you have 7 plus 5 plus 2, right? Because you gave away $2, you gave away $5, you are left with 7. What you had was, we'll do reverse of this. We will add these amounts, right? 7 plus 5 plus 2 and we get $14. So that means you started with $14. So if you start with $14, you could afford to buy a coffee of two dollars, snacks of five dollars, and you still have seven dollars left in your pocket. So we found the original amount by reversing the operation, right? If I say you do times two a number, and then you take away seven, and then divide that number by three, and what you get is, let us say, 12. Then what the number was. How will you do that part? To find the original number, what we can do is, we can reverse the whole operation. So if we reverse, what do we get? Let us try to write down. So after dividing by 3, we have 12. Let's reverse the operation. Multiply this by 3. So we get 36 here. Now we took away 7. Let's add 7 to this. So 7 plus 36 will be 41. 43, right? 7 plus 36 will give us 43. Now you did twice the number. That means you'll do half of this, right? Half of this is going to be half of 43, 21.5. So that means you started with a number which was 21.5. So you can reverse and get your original number. So that is what we can do with the help of reversing operation.